Gotta know about Alex's toast. Welcome, everyone. We've made an amazing achievement. As of 12 hours ago, we have broken the 8,000 euro mark. 8,000 euro marks. Sharing skills, abilities, improving the quality of life. And you are to be congratulated. You are the ones who made this all possible. And congratulations to my dear sister, Morgan. It was left for Earthside to assist in marketing efforts with the Transstar Board of Directors. So, let us toast to Transstar, to the Neuromart, and the future. But what is success if it can't be shared? Let me introduce a few of our employees, none of which had any musical talents until yesterday. Except Chief Show, who I'm told has a lovely singing voice. Sky, Danielle, whenever you ladies are ready. And that's where the music, the musical uh, performance came in. So there, that was that was a that was that was called a neuromod demonstration because the point was that they all just got the ability to become musicians just off the spot. Man, that would be awesome if that was real. And probably really frustrating for other people. They kind of separated the sounds. Kind of. <laughs> for the most part, the sounds kind of make sense. At least the crash cymbals were separated from the rest of the uh, drum set. What a fun idea. What a fun idea. Throwing a freaking concert to get a voice sample that's gonna alert all the enemies in the area. Huh. That's just the type of idea that would be done in such a boring way by so many developers. That it coming up with a fun, memorable thing for that level is just something that's the exception. Fitness Center. It's gonna be a lot harder to tell wh what, uh, where I am on this layout if I keep skipping from room to room via events. There's one of them. <laughs> no! I was very specifically trying not to fall down. Damn it, he knocked me back. That sucks. That sucks. I'm trying to, I'm trying to minimize casualties, but I'm also trying not to save, uh, save scum every single thing over and over again. Holy crap, there's a lot of independent fire sources. Really? Really? Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Wrong gun type. Come on, man. That was probably harder than it should have been. Should have been. Ow, my body. I'm trying to get as few killed as possible. Yeah, I fell in the pool and... Ah, uh, did two of them explode in that moment? That sucks. Harvey Klaus and... Mary... Malinaro. Are you guys alive at least? Salman Kapoor? Daniel Landon. Both unconscious. Alright. That's kind of a win. Could have been better, but I'm trying here. A lot of responsibility on the shoulders of a singular person right now. Oh, no, no. Didn't quite make it up there. Don't necessarily have a reason to go back up there right now. And could explore from down here instead. At some point I want to get back to the uh, 
fitness room, though, because that is, that is a place to check out. I was only there for a moment. I may have freed more people outside now. That would be good. Hard to tell from here. I don't see anything else in here to do. Gary Snow. So this is the way you go around the fire? There's a backside. Yep. Oh. Another wrench to recycle. That's Emma Beauty. Emma, it's Danielle. <sighs> I'm trying to reach Abby, but she's not answering. Please. Don't. Come. Emma? Please. No. Not Emma. I, I can barely hear you. Safe. Is Abby with you? Are you okay? It's not me. It's, it's not. I won't. I won't. I won't do it. You can't. Abigail, I'm recording this time. You too, Emma. It's fine. Danielle's joining us. She'll cover us if we get into trouble. She said yes? We negotiated. I had to say yes to some things too. All right, healing a bit more. So she tried to call in and she, she got into contact with one of the people that was mind controlled and was desperately trying to stop them from coming in. Their manual override. Where am I now? The main lobby straight ahead? Looks like it. That person might still be mind controlled away down there. I don't know, Carlos' list is unconscious now. They might not be dangerous anymore. Not sure. Fitness center's upstairs from here, okay. Dear lord, there's so much stuff to use! Oh. Uh, oh, he's unconscious. Ike Stewart. I probably just saved him then. Because he's unconscious right now. Which indicates that, uh... He was probably being mind-controlled a moment ago and just passed out as a result of what I did. God, there's so many dead people here. Yeah, I'm gonna have a lot... I think after I finish with crew quarters, I'm gonna have a significantly shorter list of people to look for on this entire station. Because damn... And it makes sense they're all here, because this would be where they live. It's the crew, it's crew quarters, that's the whole point. It makes sense. So he'll... He, he's like, he, he'll, he'll just think he slept in the shower. He'll be fine. So now we're back in the fitness center from before I did my, de my deathly jump. So I should have sh I should have just shot out that guy with a pistol the whole time. I thought I would sneak up to him and cl I wanted to see if I could get into close range with the uh, shotgun and get a stealth attack for a huge bonus. But if I stayed up here and shot with a pistol, then I wouldn't have fallen down, and uh, there'd be likely more alive people right now. Another neuro mod. Hunter's bolt caster. Why not? I'll just re-download this every time I get. Ain't nobody stopping me. This is Emma's uh, computer. So she, we saw her with a dot without a head over there. Ooh, new key, new key code. From Kevin Sabian to Emma Beauty. Or Beauty? Personal training session. Emma, as you know, Morgan's abil availability is going to be extremely limited in the upcoming weeks. She's like to schedule her personal training sessions tomorrow if possible. Could you possibly adjust your schedule to accommodate this window? Morgan would greatly appreciate it. The key code to the executive suites is... 7496. Alright. Now we have access to another chunk of the area. Treasure hunt. This is to Daniel Show, Emma Beatty, Elias Black, Zachary West, Abigail Foy. Greetings, adventurers. Each of you have a map fragment by now. I managed to hand them to some of you in person. Others might have noticed a, f a new file on your workstations after the last session. They are map fragments. Work together to find out the clues. Once you have, return to my quarters and you will be given your prize. Your humble game master, Abigail. So we've been finding a number of these maps over time. And now we find the actual premise of the of the quest in the first place. And so if I can find them all, we're good. I'm sorry, Neuromod Enhanced Yoga? A beginner's guide? 
Yoga is an excellent way for those with a physical se series of Neuromod enhancements to grow more in tune with their new capabilities. This is not only enriching, but provides a measure of safety, preventing you from hurting yourself or others. The Javelin Asana. This pose is a good starting place for testing your new extended limits, combining strength with balance. The pose begins with a basic handstand and will end with your body completely inverted, all of your weight supported by three fingertips on your right hand. I mean, it would be easy to do crazy yoga if you neuromodded the yoga into yourself, otherwise that'd be an, probably an incredibly dangerous pose to just pop out and do, but that's the premise, I'm sure. I mean, I've got to look into this thing, because it sounds like literally the most exciting quest of the entire game, so let's find this one. Treasure Hunt. So I found three maps already. Emma Beatty, Zachary West, Elias Black. I need to find Danielle Show's map. Then I can look at all three of the maps, or all four of the maps combined, and figure out how they come together. I'm going to want to clear this m entire area of the of the game as much as I can of loot and enemies and so on first, just so I'm free to investigate, I think. I think that's just the smart thing to do. And since nobody else is here in the room with me to contradict me, I'm going to assume that it is, in fact, the smartest thing to do, and then do it. There we go, my poor suit integrity. Still chomping away at my food supply because I can, and instead of actually using healing items. Healing items are for combat scenarios, even though I don't reflexively actually go to my healing items during combat scenarios because combat scenarios are stressful and dangerous, and I don't feel like usually popping into that menu. Or I doesn't cross my. About power flickering. Station is just hurting. Keep going. The station is just hurting. Concierge. Hey, security. Let's go ahead and download the area map. Now I've got the full map of this place. There's the two side areas of level one. Re recreation center, kitchen. I wish I could ask him where he... about the locations of any of the enemies he knows about. Just so I can know where to look for him. Uh, surveillance. Persu uh, pursuant to a Alex Hughes' orders, I have compiled a report concerning Annalise Galagos and Associates. Enclosed is also a suspicious conversation between Will Mitchell and Quentin Purvis to be reviewed by Alex Hughes ASAP. So Will has a suspicious thing, huh? I got the container set up. This is pretty weird, Quentin. I know, but if we... I don't want to know. I'm doing this as a favor, that's all. Cargo container 3232. It's on the other side of Cargo Bay B, next to the utility tunnel. When I was head chef at the Space Institute, no one asked me to conceal food in a cargo container. Just go easy on the eel, all right? Okay. Will Mitchell. What was, the other guy, what was the other guy calling himself? Go to deep storage. Corpse vanishes. The cook. Discovered Will Mitchell the cook. That's not Will Mitchell. He's pretending to be Will Mitchell, but he's not Will Mitchell. Because that guy was Will Mitchell, and his face looked completely different. He sounded completely different. That was who he was, right? Yeah. Sneaky sneaky. Known associate, Quentin Purvis, William Mitchell. William Mitchell's the chef, Quentin Purvis is the engineer. Yeah, he's completely different. Subject left private quarters, presumably to report for first shift. Verified with psychotronic security. Subject uh, returned to private quarters during shift hours. Reason unknown. Quentin Purvis was... Oh, these are about De Annalise Galagos, specifically. Isn't she the person that was doing, like, the... Trying to escape and put the word out about what's happening here? Yeah. Quentin Purvis was observed entering subject's quarters. Quentin Purvis left subject's quarters, observing carrying a portable drive. Subject left uh, private quarters, walked to cafeteria, and was admitted to kitchen by Chef Will Mitchell. Subject left crew quarters, verified by psychotronic security. Subject reported back from workstation. Subject returned to crew quarters, took meal into room. Curious. I'm wondering if the guy here is what The guy here is probably pretending to be Will Mitchell. Yeah, that makes sense, because one of the first questions I had, I don't think I even voiced it at the time because there was a lot going on, but one of the first questions I had when he talked to me is the, uh, why doesn't he know who I am? I'm, like, one of the lead people that runs this entire place, right? Like, I think everyone probably knows who Morgan and Alex, you are on this crew. 
And then you have his like his like Russian sounding accent. I'm like, is he one of the prisoners? Because I think he's one of the prisoners, and he might be impersonating the chef in this situation. Because it's chaotic, and people might not question it too much. Intruder. Argenteno, Peru. Please help me. There's someone trying to enter my room. I have nowhere to hide. Hurry. Same guy. Seriously? A basement in space. Seriously, my quarters have no view to, of space? No quarter, no windows at all? What? What is the one thing that a visitor staying at a space station might enjoy? Surely you have better quarters for Argentino, Peru. Not sparkling. I don't know what passes for sparkling wine on board Talos, but I assure you, the flat piss your concierge delivers does not qualify. I poured it into the toilet where it belongs. I want a replacement as soon as possible. Better yet, I, uh, better yet would be a bottle of that Sardar bourbon I understand your CEO likes. And more glasses as well. The others are broken. He broke the glasses too? New gym code. FYI, the code of the fitness uh, center has changed. Too many people have given out the code to employees that didn't have the surface uh, docked from their pay stubs. The new one is 7620 in case anyone who's paid for it forgets it. Thanks, Emma. Okay, so the idea there is that you, the, you can go into the fitness center, but you need to specifically dock it from your pay in order to use the fitness center. So the idea is that you're... Uh, it's quote-unquote free in that they pay you less based on the price of actually doing the thing. And so some people are getting in for free, actually for free. Let's see. So for all the crew quarters people... I mean, it's just the location crew quarters, right? Because nobody could be... nobody could be really positioned... well... A couple people could be positioned here, I guess. So here's... Oh, guest. World Cup MVP. Argentino, Peru. Or Peru. So, at most valuable player for... it's like, uh... For football, soccer, but for, you know, except the majority, major, the thing that we call soccer, but the majority of people that actually care about it do not call soccer. Uh, Chloe Burgess, Malaya Fowles, a whole bunch of other people, Kevin Sabian, Will Mitchell. Yeah, Will Mitchell is freaking dead, and I can't wait to find his body around here. To ver is he here? He is here. I can't wait to find his body to verify how much we're being lied to right now. Now oh, he's probably in there, isn't he? I didn't like that. Have I been here yet? I've not been in the recreation center yet. I'll get back to the uh, thing by the... I'll get back. Let's go back to that real quick. Let's go open that, that chamber. But we should try to find his body, because that'd be interesting, huh? Find the real guy, since he's clearly lying to us. Clearly, clearly lying to us. I don't be I don't like being lied to, not Will Mitchell. Ta-da! Oh. Did not mean to do that. Whoops. Sorry, Leah Macy. Another dead person on the list. Ooh, three neuromods. Some flowers for some reason. Medkit fabrication! Would be such a big deal to find if it wasn't for the fact that I've already found it like four times already. Take the neuromods though. How are we doing on neuromods now? Only four. Yeah, I found one earlier and three just now. I guess that's it. Let's see. But I still doing combat focus. Or do I want to go down weapons? Probably combat focus, yeah. At this point, we're just saving them up for a while, because I've basically gotten everything I want at this point. Let's go into Recreation Center, see if I can find this guy's body. The real Will Mitchell, this guy's apparently impersonating. Seems to be a news about some sort of grand prize thing. Happy birthday, Daddy! Connection to satellite. What's this thing? Why is there a file transfer for it? Is it a, just an audio log? Hi, Daddy! Happy birthday! I made you a present, but you'll have to open it when you get home because your company has lame rules. Guess what? I finally trotted with Lita. It was awesome. Um, what else? Oh, Ren peed in one of your cowboy boots. <laughs> Sorry. 
I really miss you. Tell Mr. Yu I said kids should be allowed in space. Well, I guess that's all for now. I love you. <laughs> this person's totally unidentifiable and just known as birthday kid because they're just calling some nun- Oh, it blacked out. Just calling some unknown father character. And there's no context given for who it's being from or for or- The Fly. Home by William Blake. Little fly, thy summer's play, my thoughtless hand has brushed away. Am I not a fly like thee, or art thou, n or art not thou a man like me? For I dance and drink and sing till some blind hand shall brush my wing. If thought is life and strength is breath, and the want of thought is death, then I, then am I a happy fly if I live, or if I die. Where are you, Mr. Mitchell? Bruce Cobb. Global Unity Games. Did I read this before? Global Unity Games have come to a close. Final Metal Total's participating nations are in limbo amid allegations for neural enhancements and next generation pharmaceutical use. Every year these games see previous records shattered and latest are, is no exception by a stunning margin. Altered, altered Humans by Halo Mitchelson. Uh, so now... You have multi- now, like, we already have, like, cheating problems in all forms of physical competitions, but now they have the additional layer of neuromods becoming a whole new category of potential cheating. You want to calm down, video game? Jesus. Got him. That musical cue is so weird when it first happens. I'm like, why is the game so mad at me? Nothing's happening. Like, oh, it's a poltergeist again. One of those guys. Yeah, the audio cue kind of... Honestly, the poltergeist would probably be more spooky if they could surprise you. If there was actually like, Oh, what's happening? Oh, stuff! Oh, stuff's bad! This is- I'm not alone! Like, a, a realization and surprise would be more effective. But instead, the most over-the-top ever sound starts playing, and it's so brutally obvious that you're currently under attack. Oh my god, look at this video game screen. Oh my god, all these couches and that screen. Like, I want this... <laughs> I want this to be a thing I can go to in real life. Look at this place. Except for the part where it's that right now, but you know, like in the in the past when it was actually good. That's such a great setup. There's so m This is just a really big game room. There's, yeah. All this stuff's in here. Like pool tables and stuff. That was probably it's supposed to be a ping pong table or something at some point. Uh, yeah, cards tables. Kind of a big table though. Uh, though there's ping pong, never mind. Then here's the pink, there's the pinball arcade, and then boom, big old video game center. You know this was designed by people who play video games because they were like, we got no fucking crown suite, best possible scenario, one billion controllers, giant screen, have fun, because they're like having the same wishful thinking now. Let's recombine. There we go. I want them cookies. You can't keep them cookies for me. I deserve the cookies, and I will have the cookies. Oh, I've already stolen those plants, so I've been here before, this upstairs- but yeah. That's the guy I knocked out, who's staying knocked out. Is he not mind-controlled anymore after what I did, hopefully? So I've been upstairs here before, but I never went down those stairs when I was here. Right, Will Mitchell. It's apparently that way. Oh, that way. Okay, oh yeah. So as expected, he's in the kitchen. I kind of figured that from the get-go that he's probably stashed away in the kitchen behind the area of the guy that actually- that's impersonating him right now. I don't know if you can confront him or not. That, that'd be a curiosity. Let's go back to exploring, though, for now. This 
this floor is pretty filled in. Haven't been on those stairs, all those side areas. Can't go into the kitchen yet. Let's check out both sides of the crew cabin areas. Then I'll check- then I'll double check the other floors to see if I'm missing anything while we go. Hup. So this will give me a chance to visit, uh, everyone's cabins, basically. Which are- which are so many. So many objectives floating around right now for all the different quests we've had. I'm glad I had the chance to grab a bunch of them before finding this place so that I can then not have to come back here every time I found one of these quests. There's a way to sneak into someone's room. Lots of spooky noises playing, but no actual, uh, attack, apparently. The hey, Orit. Her, her hand she put to the tent peg, and her right hand to the workman's hammer. And with the hammer she smote Cicera. She smote through his head. Yeah. She pierced and struck through his temples. I believe I read that already. Okay, I sound kind of like I'm about to be attacked. But it could be air conditioning. Survivor, day three. That, let's see, we had driven far... Oh, this, this, I think this is finally progressed. I think I read day one and two over and over again. I finally found three. I don't think I've read this one yet. We had driven far enough that our fuel ran out. More jets flew over, headed toward the city. One circled back and made several passes over us, but did not shoot. That night, in the desert, we sat by the empty truck and listened to the booming of artillery, flashes of bombs and lightning covering the horizon. In the morning, our city was lost in what appeared to be a shimmering heat waves. High overhead, there were brilliant flashes of light. Some said it was an atomic bomb. Others said it was God's wrath. Today, I know it was just an accident. Scientists that thought they knew everything, but they did not. There were so many people lost that day. So many that I can barely comprehend it. But it was Eliza that hurt my hurt my heart. I know she was just a dog, and I was ashamed of my feelings, but she did not make this world we live in. She was mine to protect, and I failed. So they were caught off guard by the first initial evacuation concept, and got knocked unconscious at one point, then got into a vehicle in part two, and drove, but then the, the uh, soldiers that they were in there with, uh had to get out to fight something, and they then told them to leave and, and get everyone to safety. And then that happened. They're just stuck, waiting, and not knowing what's gonna happen. Sarah Alazar. Well, there's a familiar name, I believe. There we go. Files. Weapon kit fabrication. Again. Even though I already have it. <laughs> Need security escort. From Alex Yu to Sarah Alazar. Marco Simmons. I know you probably have your hands full right now, but we need to send a security detail to detain Dimitri Bowser. He witnessed the incident and he's pretty shaken. We're not sure how stable he is at the moment. Make an assessment and hold him indefinitely if, if necessary. Use discretion. Yep, speaking of things that we've heard about from the beginning of the playthrough. Uh, so Bowser was there at the very beginning when... Uh, when What's-His-Name got killed by his own coffee cup mimic, which we saw was the first mimic we witnessed in the game, basically. That was the early, early thing that happened. Something's on the station. From Elias Black. Ma'am, you know I went to the doctor about sleep and all that. I got pills, but still been seeing things. After game night, I was cleaning up, and a chair moved by itself. I'm not crazy like you-know-who. I'm setting this because just after the alert, I heard something in the vent over security. I thought I saw something black up there. We need to check this out because I'm starting to think that there's something on the station that we don't know about. Security officer Elias Black. This is Alex Yu saying that we need EP-101. Ilyu Shin from Alex Yu. Yeah, add, this is about adding Michaela Ilyu Shin to the watch list. Currently performing her duties, her condition makes her a potential security risk. We may need the, le le the leverage. We've been through that. And also Flaking Galagos, which is the character 
that I believe was trying to specifically leak information about any injustices they saw here. So those are all previous emails. Because Sarah Alazar is kind of an important person that keeps coming up. 